I just want to know, in this particular moment, given where you may think the market is, given where bond prices are, I think a lot of people are really trying to rethink what's the mix of what a portfolio is even supposed to look like in this world, given what's happening in Israel uh, and Ukraine and the like. Are, are you buying stuff? What are you doing? Every day. I'm con I am amazingly bullish. And so basically in 1960s, uh, there was Vietnam War, uh, there was inflation, uh, there were ta assassinations of the presidents of the United States, president of the United States. Uh, there was assassination of Robert Kennedy, assassination of Martin Luther King. Uh, I was a patent office examiner in Arlington, Virginia. Uh, and I went to law school at night and worked in patent office at daytime. And one day, uh, right after King is assassinated, uh, one of my friends, I'm on one side of the office, went, runs over and said, Ronnie, come over here. And I ran to the other side of the building. All of Washington was on fire. Amazing. So we got our motorcycles and drove in. You're not allowed to. We broke into the city, driving around and came back. But that was a city falling apart. It looked like the country was ending. There would be marches on Washington. And the market, the Dow Jones was 1,000. The GDP was 800. 800 billion. That's now 27 trillion. The Dow Jones was 1,000 then. It's 34,000 now. It's five doubles. Five doubles in the last 50 years, 53 years. That means you double every five years, every 10 years, rather. So that means that's when we we're in yep. seven, right? So basically, the way I think about it is that inflation, whenever you have a war, you have a pandemic, uh, you have to have inflation. You have to have, government has to pay for it. And when the government pays for it, then when you come out of it, they have to pay it back. The way they pay it back is not by paying down any debt. They pay it back by making your money worth less. So there's inflation. So the way we think about things is that inflation is going to reduce the value of your money in half about every 14 or 15 years. About 4 or 5% a year is inflation. That's my whole lifetime. 4 or 5%. Sometimes it's 2, sometimes it's 7, but 4 or 5% is the number. So you would never buy a 2-year bond or a 5-year bond or a 10-year bond? I, I've never owned a bond. The billionaire Tesla enthusiast and Barron Capital CEO, Ron Barron, electrifies the investment landscape in a riveting CNBC Squawk Box interview. Barron doesn't just talk about Tesla. He paints a thrilling masterpiece of the entire electric vehicle, or EV market's, explosive growth potential. While early Tesla investors have already witnessed the money-making magic, Barron believes that the real show has just begun. The electric vehicle sector is gearing up to create a new wave of millionaires, and Barron is at the forefront of this electrifying journey. But here's the twist. Barron's bullish sentiment extends beyond Tesla alone. It's a symphony of excitement fueled by the immense growth potential of the overall electric vehicle market. In this electrifying video, we decode Barron's favorite, Tesla, and unveil another EV stock set to seize a substantial share in the booming EV sector. The EV revolution is far from reaching its peak. With electric vehicles still in the early stages of global adoption, the headroom for growth is astronomical, especially for the best EV companies. Barron urges investors to look beyond the rearview mirror and focus on EV stocks that could deliver multi-bagger returns by 2030. In the electrifying race, EV sales are projected to hit 14 million cars in 2023, constituting a formidable 18% of total car sales. Fast forward to 2030 and brace yourself for a shock. EVs are poised to claim over 60% of the total car sales market. This seismic shift promises not just a surge in sales, but a windfall of profits for the visionary EV car makers. Even with competition heating up, the industry is expected to witness consolidation in the coming years, offering investors a unique window of opportunity. Join us as we unravel the reasons to be bullish, exploring the quest to ride the EV wave and potentially become a millionaire through carefully chosen EV stocks. Let's dive into Barron's favorite, Tesla, and then we'll explore the other EV gem. They really were trying to define the company as an EV automobile maker. Is that the way you think about this company? I think about it as a technology company that's providing services to other their own company and to others. They can't possibly be matched by anyone else. Um, they have data, technology. They make cars cheaper than it was. When Ford makes one of these cars, an electric car, every car they make, they lose $36,000 on. $36,000 per car. Our company now makes about eight or $9,000 in profit a car 
they were making $15,000 in profit a car. But if they build a plant that costs $7 billion for a million cars, that plant was making $15 million a year, uh, $15 billion a year on a $7 billion investment. $15 billion on a $7 billion investment. An ordinary industrial company would make 15% on capital, 20% the most. This guy's making his capital twice a year. Now, now he's making it once a year. He's making $8 billion in a $7 million plant. So he's the lowest cost person. Everything about the business is trying to drive prices lower. Uh, right now, they will be in a very, in the, in the 1900s, early 1900s, the automobile companies were tremendous innovators. Uh, no longer is the case. In the 1950s, they decided they were gonna go for profitability and they outsourced all of their supply chain to their detriment. And all these companies went bankrupt, hundreds of them went bankrupt. And now uh, the way we're going is that their electric cars, they drive, um, I guess they have about 30 miles a day, 30 or 40 miles a day, and they have five, three million of them that are collecting data. 100 million miles a day they're getting for data, and then they're also getting compute that they're gonna have more compute than anyone in the world in 18 months. First off, Barron highlighted Tesla's unrivaled efficiency, emphasizing that the company's cutting-edge data and technology give it a distinct edge in cost-effectiveness. Unlike other automotive contenders, Tesla is making cars more affordably, turning heads as they do it. Barron dropped a bombshell, revealing that while legacy automakers like Ford hemorrhage $36,000 with every car, Tesla is raking in $8,000 to $9,000 in profit per vehicle. Huh, talk about a game-changing financial performance. But that's not all. Barron sees Tesla's data advantage as a game-changer. With a staggering 100 million miles covered daily, Tesla's technology is set to outpace the competition. The Tesla fleet is essentially a rolling laboratory, continually improving and solidifying its lead. And what about the temporary slowdown in electric vehicle demand? Barron has a bullish outlook, attributing the dip to factors like quality, pricing, and dealerships. According to him, the current electric car offerings lack appeal and come with hefty price tags. But fear not, as Barron believes that Tesla's upcoming Model 2 will be a market disruptor, making EVs more accessible to the masses with an anticipated price drop from $40,000 to $25,000. But what about China, you ask? Well, Barron's enthusiasm knows no bounds. He sees China not just as a lucrative market, but as a strategic alliance. China invited Elon Musk to elevate its struggling car manufacturing sector, fostering a mutually beneficial relationship. With Tesla's Model 2 poised for a groundbreaking launch, Barron predicts a surge in sales, reaching a staggering 5 million units annually. Ron Barron's bullish perspective on Tesla is nothing short of exhilarating. From unprecedented cost efficiency to technological dominance and a strategic partnership with China, Tesla seems poised for an electrifying ride to success. Investors, fasten your seatbelts. The Tesla saga is just getting started. The recent market response to Tesla's Q3 figures has created a lucrative investment opportunity for those with a long-term perspective. Skeptics often misinterpret Tesla as an overvalued auto company, failing to recognize its core identity as a technology innovator. Tesla's diversified business model plays a pivotal role in steering the global transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy, echoing the successful strategies of tech giants like Apple and Sony Group. While Q3 figures may have disappointed some analysts, Tesla remains steadfast in its commitment to achieving an annual compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, for vehicle production of 50%. The company's resilience and focus on innovation continue to drive its growth story. Energy storage emerges as a key player in Tesla's revenue stream, with Q3 revenue surging by 40% year-on-year to over half a billion dollars. Accounting for 6.6% of total company revenue, energy storage's increasing significance aligns with Tesla's ambition to match the revenue generated by its auto unit. In the Asian arena, Tesla and BYD stand as the primary contenders in the burgeoning EV market. Both companies ahead of the competition exhibit robust growth trajectories. BYD's success in Q3, marked by an 82% year-on-year increase in net income, underscores the effectiveness of its vertical integration strategy. 
Tesla, following in BYD's footsteps, is enhancing its vertical integration capabilities. This strategy, epitomized by both companies, ensures better control over the supply chain, a vital factor in times of industry-wide challenges such as the price wars initiated by Tesla. The EV market's potential is underscored by the projection that EV sales will represent over 60% of total car sales by 2030, up from an anticipated 18% in 2023. This substantial growth bodes well for leading EV manufacturers, promising substantial returns for investors. Let's jump to the next EV gem, Rivian Automotive Inc., ticker symbol RIVN. Rivian, the rising star in the electric vehicle or EV market, is positioning itself as an appealing investment with a series of positive developments and robust performance in the third quarter of 2023. As an EV company with a focus on both production growth and financial sustainability, Rivian is distinguishing itself from its competitors, making it an attractive option for long-term investors. The Q3 earnings report released by Rivian on November 7th showcased not only a solid earnings per share beat, but also an upward revision of its production guidance for fiscal year 2023. Unlike some competitors, such as Lucid Group, which revised its production forecast downward and reported a significant decline in revenues year over year, Rivian is demonstrating resilience and effective execution of its EV strategy. Rivian's fiscal year 2023 production guidance was increased by 2,000 units to a total of 54,000 electric vehicles, representing a 4% increase. This follows a consistent pattern, as Rivian had previously raised its outlook by another 2,000 units. The strong rate of production growth observed in the first three quarters of the fiscal year suggests that Rivian's actual production volume might even exceed 56,000 units. This bullish outlook is supported by the company's revenue performance, as it reported an impressive $1.34 billion in Q3 revenues, marking a 149% year-over-year increase. Now, while Rivian is not yet profitable, its financial metrics are moving in a positive direction. The company's gross margins are improving rapidly, with a negative 36% margin in the third quarter, reflecting a 135 percentage point improvement compared to the same period the previous year. This underscores Rivian's commitment to achieving financial sustainability, even as it ramps up production. In terms of cash flow, Rivian is showcasing a favorable trend. Although free cash flow was still negative at $1.1 billion in the September quarter, it improved by 36% compared to the previous year. The trajectory of this improvement suggests a potential for positive free cash flow by fiscal year 2026, signaling financial strength and stability. From a valuation perspective, Rivian appears to be undervalued in comparison to its large-cap, U.S.-based pure-play EV peers. With a price-to-revenue ratio of 2.41x, it stands as the lowest-valued company with a market capitalization of $5 billion or higher. The potential for revaluation is evident, with an estimated 29% upside based on a reasonable benchmark price-to-sales ratio of 3.1x. Now, while Tesla remains the market leader in terms of market cap and production volume, Rivian's impressive production growth of 121% in the September quarter suggests that it's decoupling from its rivals. This trend positions Rivian as a compelling investment option, offering both growth potential and favorable valuation metrics.